Isabella? Are you... are you in there? Hey there. Mind if I come in? I knew you missed dinner. I picked this up on my way home. Thought you'd like one too. And why is it so dark in here? Were you sleeping when I knocked? Not really. I was just thinking. About? Did you rearrange things again? Where are the plates? Stuff. The cupboard to your right. Top shelf. It's pork? Are you sure you want to eat this? <sighs> Don't look at me like I'm feeding you poisonous stuff. I know, but pork? You hate pork. <sighs> I don't hate it. I just I don't like eating it on a regular basis. I can always burn it off with a few hours of jogging. Why are you being picky about this? You're the one who doesn't even gain weight no matter how much or whatever you eat. I was just asking. You threw a fit when I used pork in your stovies that one time. It wasn't a good day to eat that? And what about you? You don't seem to be having a good day either. This afternoon? Well, Isabella, what happened? About yesterday, during Zack's movie, things didn't end well, and I guess... No, let me rephrase that. I just want to say I'm sorry. We're sorry. We were pretty harsh. Don't 
bother. Are you going to tell me about it? Does it matter? It does. I think so, yeah? How do you expect people to listen to you if you keep avoiding questions? I wasn't... I'm not asking you to listen to me right now, am I? <sighs> now you're just being a child. I'm 26. You're the one who came here to bring me food I didn't ask for. You're not even eating it yourself. And it doesn't even taste that good. It's too spicy. I bet you don't even like it. And, and... Are you done? You're an awful friend. <laughs> Feeling better? Not entirely, but thanks. I'm being petty, aren't I? We both are. <laughs> the years why we're friends, right? So, are you going to tell me about it? What's the point? Isabella, the point is... Yesterday. I spoke about it yesterday, didn't I? But nobody believed me. I kept repeating and repeating and repeating myself, but none of you took my word for it. Because none of it sounds realistic. Yet you're here asking about it. What do you really want? Because I need to know where you're coming from. Tell me. Everything. Don't leave anything out, you hear me? You really want to hear it? Is it the same? This afternoon? When you... I've never heard you scream like that. She was there. She? Who is she? I'm missing a lot of things here, Belle. Her! The ghost! She's just there, standing, calling for me! On the streets? I don't... On the window! I... Becca, it's her face when she looks at me. It's here, stuck in my head. I can't shake it off. There are, there are voices, shadows asking for help. I don't know how, I don't know what she wants from me. Lord, I don't even know how to help myself right now. I'm sorry. I didn't know this has been bothering you like this. Why are you apologizing? Look at you! This isn't the Isabella I know! 
any other day, you'd bounce back. You got what you wanted today. Your dad's gonna be okay. And yet here you are. Zack can tell. I'm sure Ash can as well. <sighs> I'm probably the only one thinking of selfish reasons the day before. Where exactly is this coming from, Becca? S certain things. I it's nothing. <laughs> Don't get worked up about it. Anyhow, I should go. Try not to think about it, alright? You need your rest, and I've got papers to check and lesson plans to review for this week's class. I'll be next door if you need me. Do you want me to stay? Can you? Just until I fall asleep? <laughs> what are you, five? Please. I really, really, absolutely don't want to be left alone right now. I tried to sleep earlier. Last night, too. I thought a shower would help today, but it's still in my head. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? You are such a big baby. Move over. I know how we'll fix this. What are you doing? Singing you to sleep like the big baby you are. I may not be as good a singer as you are, but I can handle a few tunes. Stop treating me like a kid. This is completely unnecessary. I'm kidding. Didn't you say this is how your mom used to lull you to sleep? I just thought you could use something familiar to you. You're not my mom. they back home? You said they called? Good. From what Mama told me, EJ won a medal. Who's EJ again? The youngest. A bit chubby on the cheeks. I showed you a picture of him once. You said he looks a little like me, especially around the eyes.
Santos residence? Mama, how are you? What about you? Are you eating well? You asked that a few days ago, but yeah. And Mama? I've got something to tell you. Oh no, you're not pregnant, are you? What? No! Mama, stop making jokes like that. This is a serious question, Grace. I've been looking at your face, Nook. Who is this Ashton? Are you pregnant? Who? Ash? No, no, no! Oh, good heavens! It isn't like that! We aren't like that! No one's pregnant, Mama! Well then, stop stalling! You're making me nervous, Grace. Remember the house? We got a buyer yesterday. I'll be able to send a remittance soon. The buyer gave us a bonus too. I can send that early while we're waiting to finalize things because that might take a few days. And then there's... Grace, Grace, stop! Yes, Mama? It's okay. Keep it to yourself. You don't have to send everything. Don't worry. I've got enough here. You taught me how to budget properly, didn't you? Don't you want to buy something for yourself? Or for your friend? Rebecca, was it? Rebecca will complain, Mama. Then tell her it's from me, as thanks for taking care of my stubborn daughter. <laughs> you both sound so alike. But I will. Thanks, Mama. Don't look at me like that. I can act graceful as well if I want to. Where's your owner, anyway? Well, if you don't have one, I won't be able to take you in. My apartment doesn't allow pets. I tried to bring one home before, a cat. Not black, of course. <sighs> and Rebecca threw a fit before the landlady could. D 
Do you want one? Barufia! Sorry, did my cat hurt you? Miss Santos, was it? I'm surprised to see you here. Nice to meet you again, Miss Makala. Were you harmed in any way? I'm sorry. Bru feels not exactly fond of other people. Even run away from the veterinarian right now. Oh no, he was just sniffing my hand earlier. My Bru feels a she. surprised you have a cat, Miss McCalla. And why exactly is that? There are a lot of people who have pets. Yeah, but not a black one. I'm amazed you're taking care of one. I don't understand what you're trying to get at. Is there a problem with my cat? No, not at all. She's very sweet. Just in other cultures, aren't they a sign of bad luck? Nothing has happened to me so far. This is a good place to stop and end this conversation, don't you think so? It is... Good to see you again, Santos. By the way, about the Irmingard Mansion, with my clients, it's the rights, I mean. I hope you don't mind me asking, but has the deal been finalized? There's still a few papers they need, but the house is more or less theirs now. Ah, thank you. That's all I needed to know. Wait, I... about the mansion. The, uh... Too. Have a good day, Miss McCalla.
I've just reported from our home affairs correspondent, Jim Kelly. The latest trouble started in Hackney in the east of the city late this afternoon before spreading to Lewisham, Peckham, and now in the last hour. In other local news, a woman was found dead in her home yesterday evening. Luxbourne police officials are currently investigating the crime scene, but has classified the case as homicide. The victim, identified as Rose Pamela Cooper, 33 years old, working as a real estate agent. Discovered lying in a pool of blood in her two-bedroom flat with the words help me repeatedly written on the walls. Answer. Please answer, Rose. Come on, Rose. Don't do this to me. Please pick up. I know. I know you're there, Rose. You're not dead. Please tell me you're not. This adds to the series of deaths and disappearances that has plagued Luxborn in the recent years. The authorities are currently looking at a possible link with the notorious Anselm Butcher case. Here, they will be So all around 
this area the cords are now blowing up for the second night running we've got cotton man and the violence this is what the police fear what they're calling pure criminality this scene is a smoke signal of a murder in the district the death of a man in one part of London has triggered a wave of violence in the neighbourhood in the north